Can you imagine someone fasting for 40 days on water? Yes, I'm on my almost 30 days living on only water and my goal is to reach 40 days. No, not just Jesus could fast for 40 days, but any healthy human being with a reasonable amount of body fat can. But I'm not suggesting that you do it because you need medical supervision, but I'll be telling you a little bit more why I'm doing it. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Eduardo Coraça, a nutritionist from Brazil and also a raw foodist for 16 years now. I have done multiple fasts along these 16 years, from ranging from 24, 23 to 7 days and even 2 or 3 or 4 days uh, in a row. So I'm pretty used to it. So if you don't know the channel yet, please subscribe, press the like button, comment. Don't forget to share and hit the bell so you get the notifications. This is the 28th day of my water fast here in Tanglewood in Costa Rica. So it's an update. My gums almost healed completely. I had gingivitis since I was 16 and uh, they got a lot better with the raw food diet, but they didn't got like 100% never. So I feel then it's the best time since, since 16 years old that I, you know, they're not sensitive to brushing or anything. They don't bleed. My back, I have serious back issues since I was young. Since I started to live healthy and natural hygiene lifestyle and, you know, fasting and living on fruits and vegetables primarily, my back has done a tremendous amount of healing, but I always had like, I still had issues with it. And I never felt my back as good as it is in my whole life. So it's less stiffy, uh, and less pain, uh, I'm feeling really, really better back. I always had also digestive issues, probably because of the back, you know, like, uh, and I think it's all connected, the three of them. So my digestion is like, of course I'm not eating, so I cannot feel my digestion, but my stomach is like, a, not just in peace, but I feel it's more healed than ever. But today I want to talk a little bit about health industry. Now, the sickness industry, everything that goes behind our, our modern society, the pharmaceutical industry, the food industry, the medical industry, and our belief system. We were born and raised eating a lot of junk food. We were born and raised dealing with every single problem with pills and surgery. And we were born eating junk food thinking that it's normal to have your fridge full of yogurt and things like uh, industrialized food that comes in a package, but it's not. It's making our society sick. And the more sick we are, the less we can see of the real truth. The more we are into a matrix that we created about health, about disease, about scientific research, so people just cannot realize that most scientific research is funded by people who want to sell products. It's an industry, it's normal, right? Every industry wants to sell its own products, wants to grow its own company. So most people say fasting is quackery. Most people say fasting is not true and we shouldn't you know, uh, be fasting for more than one day or Fasting is too extreme, but first of all, all animals in nature fast. Human beings, since millennia, we have dated comments and we have always historical data, Hippocrates suggested fasting, so it's not unnatural. But until we have scientific research, people are not going to believe it. We, we now already have some, Walter Longo, Mark Bermadison, some fasting centers producing research, but why there's no more research? Because there's no money to gain with, with healthy people. The money is on sick people and the money is on drugs. Things that you can patent, you can put a trademark and sell it. So until then, people are going to continue to suffer and die 
needlessly. So that's the message from today. I'm feeling way much better on my 20 day water fast. Uh, on the 28th day of my water fast, than I was feeling on the first day or on when I was feeding. I want from the bottom of my heart to share this message with the world that you can be healthy without pills, potions, and knives. You can be healthy just by living in harmony what nature created, what was intended to us throughout millions of years of evolution. And we cannot make evolution better. We cannot change in a hundred years with pills, potions, and knives what nature created throughout, you know, yeast can fast. Drosophilus, you know, small fruit flies, small worms, sea elegans, and all these lesser animals that were here in the beginning of the planet. And uh, with all these animals, there were simpler organs that we evolved from then, and we are humans. So they're showing already in preclinical trials in rats, in monkeys, and some stuff already was proven in, in humans. But the point is that I want to finish today. It's not because we don't yet have science enough to prove a long water fast that is not scientific. Fasting is probably one of the most scientific things we will discover about our health. Just to add, T. Colin Campbell, probably the most famous nutritionist in the world, the guy that uh, was the first, one of the first ones to promote a plant-based diet for the world and responsible for the Chinese study. He says in his book, Whole, that they tried to publish a study about hypertension and fasting. They had a really good study showing that fasting was the most effective means to reduce hypertension than comparable to drugs or any other intervention that we know. And hypertension is probably the most important comorbidity to reverse that goes along with all the, these chronic diseases that we now face. So he tried to publish it on JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and the New England Journal of Medicine. They blocked the research, even though it was really good, had really good recommendations, appraisals, but these two scientific papers, they're really famous. They're sponsored by pharmaceutical companies that sells anti-hypertensive drugs. So if they publish a study suggesting that fasting, something that is free, can be better than drugs, would be really bad for business. So I let you decide what you think about science of fasting. And I let you decide one thing realize that the biggest problem that we face nowadays is not the pharmaceutical industry, it's not the food industry, it's not the medical industry, but it's your free will, your own responsibility. People are not willing to take care of their responsibility. They want health, but they don't want to go to sleep early. They want health, but they don't want a good diet. They want health, but they don't want exercise. So. Health can be bought, must be built by your own lifestyle habits, choosing day by day. I have chosen my cure, and fasting and a natural lifestyle has hygiene, natural hygiene preaches, interacting with nature. So watch you want to be and become in the next years. So I want to thank you for today. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get the notifications, comment, like, and share the video. And if you want my help, go into my website. I'm a nutritionist. I have eight books published. I have like online courses. I run retreats to help people out how to get healthy.